Okay, what I saw was it could have been a big jackrabbit, but the way it was running, it made me think more of like a bobcat. It wasn't hopping, it was like running like a cat. And it was gray with white, probably like gray with white spots. I've never seen one in the wild, but, and I, you know, it could have just been a jackrabbit, but I haven't seen any rabbits out here. And I don't know how smart it is to move towards where I saw it, but it ran right through there. You know, it could have been a fox, but, you know, the way cats run, the way dogs run, you can kind of tell, even from a distance, and it was silent the way it was running. It wasn't a coyote, it ran right through here. So it could have been going up in one of these trees or into a hole. See, I don't see any big holes here. It's just how it happens. So often you just catch a, a peak. I mean, I'm gonna count that as a bobcat sighting. Even though I couldn't completely verify it. Took my dogs on another hike and we hiked about probably a mile and a half from our campsite. We stayed on pretty level ground, but we're out in an area where motor vehicles aren't even allowed and I haven't seen anybody hiking out here. And I'm pretty sure I just saw a bobcat. I didn't get a really good view at it, but it was running like kind of right towards us and then off. And it seemed like it was going towards a tree and I thought I, I could find it, but I couldn't find it. It was pretty, pretty big size, a little smaller than Dodger, but it looked really fluffy and light, like it was mostly fur. It was a gray, it wasn't tan, it was gray. It could have been a jackrabbit, a big jackrabbit, but I didn't see any ears, and the way it was running, it was running like a cat, from what I could see, but it was through a layer of trees, so I didn't get the best view of it. But we hiked out here with uh, just my day pack, and so I wanted to go through my day pack and see what's in here because I haven't gone through it in a while. So I just kind of trust that it has everything I need. It generally does. I don't really need too much, but I like to have a little extra emergency gear in here. So I want to go through it and I want to make sure that I have everything in here that I might need because I take this out a lot more now than my overnight pack. My overnight pack is packed with a full survival kit and like backup gear. It's got a stove in there, water filtration and all that but doing a lot of day hikes with the dogs. I mostly just need basically water and some food and whatever, like a hat, that kind of thing. And a couple things for the dogs just to make sure they're okay. And like a first aid kit. So I'm gonna go through my gear right now, everything that I got in here, and we'll see if I have enough. See what I need to add in here. Okay, so this is the pack. It's an 18 liter REI pack. And it's a good pack. I put this shock cord on it so then I can attach things to the outside real easily. And it's uh, flexible, you know, it's elastic. And I just have one carabiner so I can attach things if I want. Of course I got my hat, sun hat, which I always take with. I got um, a hammock here. And then my sit pad, which is just a piece of Reflectix. It's about three feet by a foot and a half. And so I can sit on this. And, and this thing I use all the time, all the time. And then I got my water bottle here, which is a uh, collapsible, which is actually really nice to have because as you go through your water, then it changes sizes. So it doesn't take up as much space, obviously. And then this I got, I'm using it right now too, because there's some bugs out here. This stuff, I really like this stuff. It doesn't have DEET in it. So let's see what's in my pack. Uh, and also the, uh, I got a water bowl, collapsible water bowl for the dogs. Okay, so I got, uh, this is the hammock. And then I got a couple ropes so I can hang up the hammock. 
Got my snack for the day. Here I got um, some calamine lotion, just because I've been getting bit by bugs every once in a while. I haven't been using this that much. I got it on right now, it seems to be working. There's these little tiny black flies that are my main concern, and man, they really leave a bite that lasts for days. So I'm, I'm pretty sure this works on them. And here, I've got, uh, this is the toilet kit, obviously. So there's TP in here. This is uh, the shovel, and this was for overnight backpacking. It's a lightweight shovel. So you can dig a cat hole for the TP. Then here I got a monocular, which is, you know, like binoculars, but it's just one eye, so it's extra light, extra small. So I can see things in the distance. I got sunglasses. These are just cheap ones. You can see I, they're broken, I taped them up. I like to have cheap ones because they break all the time. You sit on them, it's no big deal. It looks like I have a few pocket knives and I probably don't need this many, but this has a good blade on it. This is a multi-tool. So it's got scissors in there, it's got all your tools in there. So that's really handy to have, but I have one always on my keychain anyway. Uh, this has blades in it, it even has little tweezers. Right here, there's little tweezers that come out which I've, I actually use these a lot. So I kind of don't need this multi-tool in here uh, because I always have this one on my keychain, which has a knife and a little screwdriver. It's got scissors in there. And I have a flashlight on here. Sometimes I'd bring my headlamp, which I don't have in here right now, but I always have this flashlight, which works really well. It just takes one AAA battery. And that's always on my keychain, so I always have that with me. And then I got a lighter, got chapstick with sun protection saline for my eyes this is a battery pack and it's got this little light which attaches to the USB port and turns on through the USB port and then I got a cable here with a USB-C adapter and a lightning cable to charge everything up and so that's always charged so that's really just for my phone and then there's a backup light and sometimes I bring a little speaker and I can charge up the speaker with that too I got my first aid kit here which I rarely use, but I wanna go through it right now just to make sure I got everything in there. And that's everything. Everything you see right here is what I take. There's not really survival gear here, like if I need to spend the night. So that's my main issue with this kit, but usually I'm just a couple miles from camp. So as long as I have a first aid kit and enough water, then I'm pretty good to go. And, and a hat and sunglasses for sun protection. Okay, so my first aid kit, I rarely use this. There's um, some sunscreen, sunscreen stick. I've come in here before for like band-aids or to like clean a little wound that I got. That looks empty, it's saline solution. And here's a little pen with duct tape on it. So I guess I have a little bit of, I got some quarters in here. That makes sense. A little bit of a survival kit in here. What's this? Gas X. I've never needed that. Supposedly it's good to bring, so I always have it in there, I guess, but I've never needed it. So it looks like I got a sewing kit, some Q-tips, and I got some good stuff in here. I didn't really, I didn't really know I had this much good stuff, which is nice. Got some moleskin, which is for like blisters on your feet. Let's see, handy wipes. Here's a red Sharpie. Some more chapstick. I got contacts in here. Because I wear contacts, so I got some backup ones. I didn't really know I had those in there. That's a good thing to have. Some more handy wipes. Oh, I got a bandage, some bandage things, and a little pair of scissors. Which I don't have a bandage in here, which I should have. I have some tape to wrap up a wound. I have another little mini Leatherman in here. This one has pliers in it, some bunk tweezers. I could probably get rid of those. I could probably get rid of this and that. I got a map, which I don't even go to this place anymore, but it's a good idea to have a map, obviously. I have a little light, little mini light, which works. I got a spider on my leg. So this mini light works really well. Um, you know, if I'm going overnight, then I'm gonna have my headlamp with me. If something happens to the headlamp, 
Then I have this as a backup, but I have that one on my keychain, which is really powerful. So if something happens to that, then at least I have this so I can, you know, I can't really see my way with this little light, but if I needed to, I could, I could use it to look at my gear. You know, if I need to look at my gear or read a map, that kind of thing. The giant body wipe there. That's empty now. And then here is basically the core of the first aid kit, which is band-aids. There's gonna be wipes in here. There's gonna be gauze pads in here for like a, you know, a serious wound and I could wrap it up. Got some Advil. What's this? Non-aspirin, more Advil. Gauze pads. Sting relief, which that's probably pretty important to have. I think I have some more of that somewhere. I think gauze pads are kind of a good thing to have because it, you know, that's the worst thing that could happen out here is getting, um, you know, getting a serious wound, like getting stabbed with a stick or falling and scraping yourself. So then you're gonna need things like this, like a, a Benz, whatever this is, antiseptic towelette to clean it. Another one, antiseptics to clean it, pain reliever, whatever that is. And then you just, you can wrap it up with gauze pads and this tape and then get yourself back to safety. And of course, band-aids. You want a lot of band-aids because that's the main thing you use. So a big band-aid like this is really the most important to have because you, you, know, you scrape your knuckle, that kind of thing. That's, that's what happens the most commonly. Scrape your knuckles, scrape your ankles, little tiny cuts. So a little selection of small band-aids, but the big band-aids are really the most useful. Because a small band-aid, if you need a small band-aid, you can just use tape and a piece of gauze pad or some of this mole skin. That's kind of all you need. So it looks like I pretty much have mostly what I need in here for just for the day, for safety. And I got some things that I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't really use, but they're here just in case. You know, you tear something, you're like, oh, I have a needle. You got backup tweezers. I got sunblock if I need it. Contacts, if one of my contacts falls out. Extra lip balm. You know what I don't have in here is a, a little lighter. I do have a lighter in my main pack, which is, that's good, but it's nice to just have another backup lighter in here. So I should probably throw a mini bic in there. That's the kind of stuff you need when you're out hiking for the day. You don't need too much. It's good to be able to clean your wound, wrap up your wound, and then sting relief, I would say, is probably pretty important. There's cleaning stuff in here for like wiping my hands or whatever, which is not necessary. Pain reliever pills, like ibuprofen, that kind of thing is like a bonus. You know, if you get a headache, that's kind of nice to have. I guess if I had gas, if I had bad gas, I'd be really thankful to have this. Q-tips, I guess, to clean something if you get something in your ear. Sewing kits, some little scissors to cut, cut fabric is kind of handy but you know i got plenty of knives obviously i have several knives in my backpack and pens to write a note leave a note um, so i have a couple of those so you know i could write on wood with this to leave a message for somebody if i needed to on a tree or something like that i could write a message saline for your eyes to wash out your eyes also to wash out wounds is really really important Actually, that's really handy to have because you can wash out a wound real easily with this. Or if you get something in your eye, you can just wash it out. If you get sand or dirt in your eye, you can wash it out real easily. You could use water, but that'll that'll irritate your eyes. Saline will irritate your eyes. So to have a nice little multi-tool is super handy. Whatever, whatever you can grab, it doesn't have to be a Leatherman. You want something that has everything on it. A couple screwdrivers, pliers or scissors. It's got a file on here, a little nail file. Some of them have a little saw, which is actually pretty handy. Something to poke holes. You need that. Backup flashlight is handy to go with your normal flashlight. You need to have a regular flashlight and a backup flashlight. And then of course, like sunglasses and a hat is super important for the sun. Cause that's, that's really what gets you out here is the sun, the weather. If it was like rainy time or cold, I'd have a rain jacket. And I might even have like long underwear in here. If it's actually, if it's cold out, I would definitely have some backup long underwear in here. But that's kind of all you need. And we're having a good time out here. The weather's pretty nice. I'm a little freaked out because of that bobcat that I saw. And I just read online that they do attack people. <laughs> and like I said, it looked about almost the same size as Dodger. But I don't think, like Dodger weighs about 50 pounds. 
And I don't think Bobcats get to 50 pounds. I think they get like to 30 pounds, that kind of thing. But I could see that it was pretty fluffy. It's like, so I think they look kind of the same size, but they're mostly just fluff. And I feel like Echo could kill a Bobcat if he needed to, but man, they have sharp claws. They have sharp claws. With this stuff, if I needed to camp out, out here, I couldn't do it. Um, obviously I need a tent, that kind of thing. And that's where this is my main survival kit. This is what I usually take when I go backpacking. And this weighs, it's pretty light. It's under two pounds and this has everything in it. I can camp with this if I need to, you know, in emergencies. It's got an emergency sleeping bag in here. It's got everything I, I would possibly need. This, this is loaded. I can get water with this. Um, and I'll go through this at some point in the future because this is really cool. If I if I throw this in my pack, then I feel super safe. There's a, a book in here on first aid care. If I break something and I'm experiencing shock, I can just read the little book in here and it'll tell me what to do. This thing is loaded, so it's nice to have a kit like this that has everything I need in it. But I usually don't take this on day hikes. I wanna go through this at some point so people can see what you really, really need for safety. It's got survival, first aid, water collection, and a little bit of camping gear in here for emergencies. Having something like this makes you feel really, really safe. Having a kit like this makes me feel safe for, you know, the daytime, but if it's gonna be nighttime, I'm gonna have to build a shelter. You know, I don't have a sleeping bag in here, so I'm gonna get cold. I don't have a way to get dry. I don't even have a way to collect water with this. So this is really just for the day. I need to get back to camp at the, at the end of the day with this. With this, I can actually stay out and about for as long as there's water, I could stay out for a long time with just this. Well, I hope that's helpful going through my kit, showing you everything I take out on a, on a day trip with me and the dogs. Oh, that's one thing too, is actually this is meant to keep the dogs safe. I should have some Neosporin in here, a little tube of Neosporin, because the dogs will get little cuts and things like that, and you can put that Neosporin on them, keep their wound clean and water. You just have to have a lot of water if you got the dogs. So like right now I've got a liter of water left and there's not much sun out here. So we're, we're pretty good, but that's how we do it out here. Keep it light and easy. So anyways, if you find that helpful, hit that like button or hit the dislike button, whatever. Just let us know you're watching. This is my after hike lunch. It looks pretty good. I'm hungry. <laughs>